What's up, Hacker Nation? Holla at your boy, the secret letters of a hacker. If you're new to the channel, I'll let you in on a little secret. Here we expose hacker tactics and techniques, because to stop a hacker, you gotta think like a hacker. And today we're gonna expose and reveal step two in the hacker's methodology. If you're wondering what happened to step one, that would be footprinting, reconnaissance, open source intelligent gathering. But step two, oh man, that's where it gets exciting because we're talking enumeration. And when a hacker starts enumerating on your network, they're going to enumerate all over it. And there's nothing better than some late night enumeration. And if you're lucky, you might just get lucky and find a vulnerability. And what better way to do all this than to go out to the best in the biz, and that's Nmap. So stay tuned because I'm going to show you how to use it and how to master it this week on The Secret Letters of a Hacker. Alright guys, let's talk about different scan techniques from Nmap. We have a dash SS, which is your SYN scan, and this is by far the most popular type of scan because it's the fastest way to scan TCP ports and it's also the stealthiest scan versus using the dash ST which is your TCP connect scan. We also have a dash SA and this is your acknowledge scan and this is commonly used to map out firewall rule sets and it also helps understand whether firewall rules are stateful or not. The downside is that it can't distinguish between open and closed ports. We also have a dash SW and that is a window scan, a lot like the acknowledge scan except that it's able to detect open versus closed ports but only against certain types of machines. Now we have a dash SM and this is a Maimon scan and what that means is that it's an obscure firewall evading scan similar to a fin scan that we're going to talk about later on. This allows you to get past more packet filtering firewalls except the downside is that it doesn't work against many systems as your dash SF fin scan. We also have another scan and that is a dash SN for your null scan. We have a dash SX for your Christmas tree scan. These three scans are considered your special purpose scans that are capable at sneaking past firewalls to explore the system behind them. So let's go ahead and test some of these out. We're going to go out to scanme.nmap.org and what this is is a vulnerable web server for you to go ahead and use different scanning techniques from Nmap. Alright, as you can see, the SYN scan brought back the port number, the state, whether it's open or filtered, and the service. So a little bit of information, not a whole lot for us to do much with at this point. Let's go ahead and see if we can further enumerate these ports. And to do that, we're going to do a dash SV. And what this does is it probes the open ports to determine the types of services and version information behind it. And we're going to do a dash capital O for the operating system. All right, we got back a lot more information now. Again, we have the port, the state, whether it's open or filtered, the service, and now we have the service version along with the operating system. So this is some good information for us to help determine the vulnerabilities and exploits that may be present. Now let's talk about port scanning. We can do a dash P and we can specify any type of port we want to scan. For example, we can go out to port 80 and we can go out to port 443. And as you can see, port 80 is open and port 443 is closed. Now if you wanted, you can also scan all 65,535 ports. I wouldn't recommend doing this because it will take a lot of time and it will generate a lot of noise and traffic on the network and we're trying to be as quiet as possible getting the information we want while flying under the radar. So let's talk about firewalls and IDS evasion. What kind of scans can we do to evade those? Well, we can do a dash T0, and Nmap calls this a paranoid scan, and it waits five minutes between sending each probe, and it's not detected by IDSs. The next scan is a T1, and it's called a sneaky scan, and this waits about 15 seconds between sending each probe. 
We have a T2, that's your polite scan. We have a T3, which is a normal scan. A T4, this is an aggressive scan. And we have a T5. And this is called your insane scan, and it's easily detected by IDSs, but by far the quickest scan that NMAP has. We're going to do a dash SS for a SIN scan. We're also going to do a dash P, and we're going to specify um, ports 1 through 400. We're also going to do a dash SV. We're going to probe to determine the service and version information. And we're going to do a dash O. And we're only concerned about open ports. And we're going to go out to scanme.endmap.org. And we're also going to do a dash T5, which is an insane scan, because we're not really concerned about evading any firewalls or IDSs from scanme.mmap.org. All right, and we got port 22 open and port 80 open. And we got the version number. So we can go ahead and see what may be vulnerable with these versions. And to do that, we're gonna reach out to Nmap scripting engine. And that's located in USR share Nmap scripts and we'll go ahead and open this up and as you can see we have a ton of scripts that we can run against our target to help us further enumerate the system find vulnerabilities possible exploits and then gain a foothold now if you go to this location and you don't see any scripts here I'll go ahead and link the download for you to install these scripts so let's just test some of these out and see what happens we're gonna do nmap dash sc which is just your default scripts and we're gonna go out to nmap actually we're gonna go out to scanme.nmap.org alright so we got some good information that we didn't get back before with just a simple scan technique using the ss your sin scan and port 80 Looks like we have some good information. Go ahead and scan me. So let's do a HTTP header scan and see what kind of information we get back through port 80. And to do that, we're gonna do nmap again. And this time we're gonna do a dash dash script and specify the script we wanna run and that is HTTP headers. And we're gonna go out to scanme.nmap uh, org. Alright, so we got a little bit more enumeration from the script. And again, we're just going to jot down all this information we're getting back because our objective is ultimately to find vulnerabilities and then get our foothold in the door. Now, let's take a look at another script. Let's, um, let's do nmap dash dash script and this time I want to load all SSH scripts out there and we're gonna do that in parentheses and we're gonna go out to scanme.nmap.org hit enter and what this is gonna do it's gonna load all the SSH scripts and run it against our target. And as you can see, it's starting a brute force script. We're going to go ahead and cancel that out because Nmap doesn't like us doing brute force against their server. Let me go ahead and clear the screen. And if you're not sure what these scripts do, you can do a Nmap dash dash script. Actually, let's pick a script. Um, look for a good script here to open up. Let's take a look at the shell shock script. So we're going to copy that. We're going to type in nmap dash dash script dash help 
HTTP shell shock. And in here, it'll give you the description and what it does. So you can always run the dash help to see what the script does if you're not sure about it. Go ahead and take a look at it before you run it by doing a dash dash script dash help. So let's go ahead and run another script. Let's do this time. Let's do DNS brute. So we're going to do DNS dash brute dash NSE. And that's going to be followed by a dash P because it's running on port 80. And we're going to go out to scanme.nmap.org. And what this script will do is that it will find valid DNS A records by trying a list of common subdomains and finding those that are successfully resolved. And as you can see that it came back with some good information. Again, we're trying to get an overall picture of what's running behind these ports, finding the vulnerabilities, and then go ahead and exploit those vulnerabilities to gain our foothold. Another good script to automate finding vulnerabilities is a dash v dash dash script foam. And we're going to go out to scanme.nmap.org. A few moments later. Alright guys, so the vulnerability scan finished and let's take a look at this. Um, SSH, no. HTTP came back vulnerable to a denial of service attack and it gave us the following CVE to reference. So the last scan that I'm going to show you that a lot of people may not know about is Nmap's malware scanning engine. And what that does is it goes out and scans to find any malware. And to do that we're going to type in nmap-sv-script equals HTTP dash malware dash host and we're going to go out to scanme.nmap.org and the host is malware free just to recap a little bit about what we talked about host discovery with nmap port discovery service detection operating system detection we did vulnerability and exploit detection as well so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did go ahead and hit the subscribe button hit that like button and stay tuned to future tutorials and videos and as always hack me outside bro how about that